Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, I think the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow was was a re was really something something else. And again, there'd been there'd been the threat before that. So what what came at Glasgow was 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 made more special because of that. And and in a way, the achievement just became a bit secondary, uh, really. Although. Yeah, I, I, w I wanted obviously to try and do as well as I could, and, and, and having done that, that was that was very satisfactory. But it was more about the enjoyment of being there. Um, I, I, look, I remember the World Team Championship wins very very uh, affectionately, and um, enjoying winning something with with people. But I think I think the best one would probably was when we were in India for for that. For that match against Greg for the for the Masters event, when I knew that I would then go to world number one, and it wasn't really because of the world number one bit. Well, it was because oh, that'd be stupid to say that. It was, it it, it was all, a lot of it was because of that, but it was made so much better because I somehow, God knows how, I had the sort of four or five people around me that had been so close, living this whole squash thing for years on end with me, and they were all there. So. I don't know, it was just tremendous that they managed to be able to share it with me, David, Vanessa, Mick, Malcolm, and uh, you know, they, they were just all there at that one event. Um, and the, not all, that's very, very unusual, but they were. Um, it just made it so, so lovely to be able to just look at them at the table in the evening afterwards and just say, you know, we've worked so hard together and you've supported me so much and, and it's just so nice to be able to just raise a glass and say, well, it's, it's been great to share this together really and, and work so hard to do, to do this. And it's not just about me, it's, it's about a lot of people supporting me to get there. And that's a really genuine feeling that I loved sharing it with them. But yeah, we, at my stage of my career, things are a little bit different. I've had a hip operation, I've just got to monitor training, be very careful with it, play sessions carefully, do less impact work on the squash court just to keep protect my hips. Um, things are different. For a 24 year old, it's, it's, it's not, there's not so much of a concern, there's less injuries, um, they can really go at it. And I, you know, I trained ferociously hard for, massively hard for years. Um, and uh, maybe there's a little bit more of a, a balance now, but um, the summers, I, I suppose, get very hot and, and tough. It's, it's the one time that we can train. So when you go down to the England England camp, you know they're putting huge weeks, of, you know doubling up each two sessions a day. By the end of it, end of those days, you're absolutely knackered. Um, not much room for anything else. So it's it's really is very very full time. It's exhausting at times, but who else who doesn't have to work hard in life? Everyone has to work, and so all right, there's a bit of pain involved, and it's not particularly nice physically at times. But that's part of the deal, and we, like you say, there are some great things about doing that, and you can only push your body for a certain time, so that will hopefully at some point in your life be over. Um, but there are so many great things that you get to enjoy with it, like traveling, playing in cities like New York and that Grand Central. So, so it comes with a lot of great good stuff as well. It's not all uh, it's not all tough, but good life.